Hey guys, welcome to another video. Asif here, and hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna go through the survey builder updates by Go High Level that they launched on Level Up Day 2023. So, this is the blog, and I'm actually going through all the updates that they uh, they included in this Level Up Day. So, I'm gonna make another video on like just giving you an overview of all the updates they went through. But this one is about the survey builder. So here's here's uh, what they did and here's uh what's new on the survey builder so if i just quickly add a new survey i'm gonna be able to show you what's the update and uh, how you can use it better than it how it was before so let's just call it a uh, demo survey so if i go to the blog i can quickly see so th they've added themes just like form builder so if you have seen my form builder video I've discussed how they added themes to forms and surveys so you can use them independently without embedding them to a web page because independently uh, without being embedded to anything they already look so better so if I just quickly add some uh, add some fields here and you know just quickly add some custom values um, you know so this let's add this one and so here we have three sli uh, survey slides and if I close this one real quick and if I go to themes so it gives you just like the form builder it gives you all these themes that you can apply to your survey and use them uh, in no time so if I use this one as you can see it's changing and it will change the background as well so if I do this one um, for local business it would be let's actually go with this one as you can see it actually changes the style and uh, the background and stuff so if I hit save and if I start integrating it I just want to use it as a link without embedding it to any web page so as you can see it already looks so much better so much professional if you remember how it was uh, with the footer previously honestly I couldn't use it with the footer it gave uh, it gave us by default so huge huge shout out to high level team and the development team whoever is responsible for doing this you've done an amazing job so this is the theme and footer update on the go high level surveys also if i want to show you what's new so they have actually added short labels so you can uh right here enter your name so this is actually an explanatory field you can add like if if a field is confusing in your survey and you're under the assumption that people might get confused of uh, what the field is all about you can just add a short label to this to uh, give a brief explanation of what this field is all about also uh, you have the terms and conditions element so if you add a phone number let's see so if you add a phone number here as you can see it's uh, it's added a uh, terms and conditions by default so you could uh, also do some stylings with it you can add fonts and stuff just like forms so if you watch the form builders you can see you already know uh, we can now add custom fonts by default natively so yeah previously we had to custom code uh, through CSS but we now can change the fonts natively from builder itself also it gives you the GDPR compliance so that's already looking so much better than how it was before and I'm in love with all the updates to be honest I'm gonna make another video like explaining all these updates in case you're still wondering and in case you uh, in case you were confused with some of these I promise I'm gonna make a video explaining all these stuff so you could see uh, what's the what's new with go high level in 2024 and if you haven't signed up already you can sign up using the link below so go ahead and sign up and yeah you you get it done for you set up if you use my link so that will be a huge help for you i guess and yeah that's it for this video uh, and i'll see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.